hello it is on this day that i haven't made any progress but i'm going to do a quick announcement summary thing so it is at like 2 in the morning and right now it's 9 45 pm at 2 in the morning i'm going to begin going on all my crazy trips and i'm doing a lot of trips so the reason this is important is because I'm not going to have a lot of time to do these things. Um, if I finish a book, I'll do a recording, but it's entirely possible that you're going to get a 720p recording in a dark room. <laughs> um, so there's your warning there. But basically, I have three big long trips right until I move. Like, I have maybe two free days between all these trips and moving day. So, it's entirely possible that you guys won't see this room again. And I thought that before, just in case you guys don't see this room again, I would do a final tour of all the books I have on the shelf. My weirdly organized shelf at the moment. And also, since I never actually did it, update on how many Kindle books I have because it is a lot. Um, I think you guys have only seen maybe five out of my way too many Kindle books. So in essence, this is a video like listing everything I own for now. Um, for the most part, I don't plan on buying anything else. I'm going to try to save my money as much as I can. But it's possible with like Christmas and my birthday, which is very soon and stuff like that. It's possible I will be given more books. So I guess those updates will come as they come. Um, recently, I've been re-watching all of my review videos and I realized that maybe listing my new books at the end of the video isn't all that smart because people would have to skip to the end and that's not going to happen. <laughs> so I might start doing these separately like this one. Let's get into it. So I'm going to go from bottom to top. Um, this is still my Jim Butcher shelf for the most part. There's some not Jim Butcher books on there, but we'll get there. These six books right here, they all have these things in the middle. All six of those are the Codex Alera. I have read the Codex Alera. I highly recommend the Codex Alera. The pitch for it is that Roman Legion meets Pokemon, but some people may hear that and like wince away the pitch isn't a good pitch, honestly. It, that's not what it is. It isn't Roman Legion meets Pokemon at all. You're, if you didn't know that going in, you wouldn't think this is like Pokemon. That would not come across your head at all. It's really good. I really highly recommend it. There's a lot of twists and turns, a lot of author intelligence. So I recommend that. My number one series, because I'm obsessed with it. If you haven't figured that out by now, I don't know where you are is the Dresden Files. They are stacked vertically. Books one through, I believe, five. Yeah. Books one through five are here. Books six through nine are here. Books 10 through 15 are here. And Peace Talks and Battleground briefcases and side stories are all right there. Side stories? Side jobs, my goodness, brain. So they take up the majority of the shelf. It's a long series, it's still ongoing, and I have read everything that's out, including anthologies and the graphic novels. Again, I'm obsessed. And I cannot recommend that series enough. It's a lot to take in. It's obviously a long series, but they're actually pretty small books. And I will be the first to tell you that it's a slow beginning. It takes a while to catch on for some people, but it is so worth it. If you can hang on to the series long enough it becomes it's it's beautiful it's great so i cannot recommend that series enough and i'm caught up next to that is dune right there i have never read dune i will soon um back when i was on a public server that did a bunch of read-alongs and things um back when i was on that i was asking people if i was ready for dune you know i was trying to get, figure out like what kind of knowledge I needed to be prepared for it. A lot of people said it's a very philosophical book and it takes some thinking. Um, younger people can read it, 
but sometimes when you're like older and you reread it, it's a lot better. So I've been kind of shaky on knowing when to start it. I think I'm going to wait a bit, but I will read it soon. If you're wondering which edition this is, this is the one with the gold pages on the outside um, that you can get at Barnes & Noble. So that's that. Uh, if you're wondering what this book that is inserted vertically, basically there's a book right here that's inserted like this <laughs> because it doesn't fit any other way. That book is Aeronaut Windlass, which is a Jim Butcher book. It's the first book of the Cinder Spires, and I have not read it. I am waiting for the Olympian Affair to come out. Maybe in 2022, it's possible it'll come out 2023. I have no clue. For all I know, they'll announce it this year. So I don't know when that book will come out, but when that one comes out is when I will read the first book. Um, it's it's the Jim Butcher book I'm saving. I'm, I'm keeping it until I'm ready. And then there's the other two not Jim Butcher books. Um, these are books three and four of the Malazan Book of the Fallen series. Um, I believe it's Memories of Ice and House of Chains. That's off the top of my head. I'm not going to bother looking, to be honest. Um, it's by Steven Erickson, I believe. And I, if you have watched the previous videos, I was going to do a Malazan read-along for the next two years. That's how long that would have taken. Um, but two things happened. I left that server for a bunch of reasons, and the book was not making enough sense in my head. A lot of people recommended listening to a podcast and stuff along with it, but at the time I was doing school and I was busy, and so I decided to put down Malazan. And in the end, I should probably read Wheel of Time or something else, else big before I get to Malazan. So Malazan is being postponed to later, but there's books three and four. Um, books that probably aren't as well known, we have Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. It's a nonfiction book. Um, it's about egos. <laughs> Go figure. There's The Word is Murder. It's a murder mystery book by Anthony Horowitz. Um, it does have a sequel. I think it's called The Magpie Murders. It might have another book as well. I don't actually know, but I have that. There's Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. I have read Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. I, <laughs> um, I read it a few years ago, actually, so it might be due time for a reread. Quick clarification, I have not read these two or Malazan. All right, Red Rising and Golden Sun. Those are the only two of the Red Rising series I own. Uh, I have not read them. My sister has, and she told me I should, so maybe soon. Red Rising. You'll notice a book is missing. That's the book I'm currently reading. It's Promise of Blood. I'm not that far in. I'm about to read like five. I'm about to read like nine chapters during my plane ride in a few hours. So it's coming, but this is the book that's missing on the shelf in progress. Obviously, I have not read its sequels or the prequel trilogy, um, but that's what these are. This is Powder Mage which is Crimson Campaign, and The Autumn Republic, there we go. And then Sins of Empire, Wrath of Empire, Blood of Empire. So those are those five books, plus that one. Not read them. Dracula by Bram Stoker, I have read it. I read it a freaking long time ago. I actually read it like when I was like 13 for the first time. Don't question my methods. <laughs> Um, I believe that's Brave New World. I read that last year, actually exactly a year ago. I read Brave New World. It is actually a really good book. There's some parts that I struggled to get through, but when I reached the end of the book, I could look back and see that it was a really good book. Um, so that is probably the classic I have read that I'd recommend the most out of all the classics I've read. I've only read like six or so, but I do recommend Brave New World if you can stomach the sex and gore and the morals <laughs> that are all in it. Um, there actually isn't gore. I don't know what I'm on about with gore, but the there's just some iffy morals in there, which is the point of the story. So if you can stomach like that, Brave New World. We have The Faithful and the Fallen, Malice, Valor, Ruin, 
and Wrath. Um, I have not read Faithful and the Fallen, uh, but I'm planning to soon, hopefully. Leviathan Wakes. I've been putting off reading that book forever. I've, I've been forgetting author names. Oh well. Um, it's from the Expanse series, and again, I'm waiting, but soon. So I have that. I have House of Suns by Alistair Reynolds. I have not read it yet, but it's a standalone, so I hope so too, to do so soon. We have the book above Alistair Reynolds' House of Suns is The Journeyer by Gary Jennings. I've made more progress. Again, this is the biggest book I'll have ever read for a lot of years. This is a freaking big book. This book is the size of the two Oathbringers relatively. I think Oathbringer is actually a little bit bigger, but this is big book. Very big book. And it, it's slow too because at the beginning the main character is it. this is spanning someone's whole life and I'm still in the teenage years so it goes a bit slow. All right. The Journeyer by Gary Jennings. I believe that's that whole show. There's also, you can't see it, but there's also Do Andrew's Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick, which I have read. It's basically the Blade Runner book. It's, I know that's like a horrible way to put it, but it is kind of what it is. Ahem. We have the Mistborn trilogy, Era 1, which I recently finished. We have the Majority of the Cosmere in order. We have Arcanium Unbounded, Warbreaker, I think it goes straight into, yeah, Warbreaker, Alloy of Law, Bands of Mourning, I'm trying to do this without looking back, Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, Oathbringer. Way of Kings, Oath, Words of Radiance, and Oathbringer are all separated into two books, but they're one big book. So you see six books here, but that's actually three. Um, and those are all my Brandon Sanderson books. I have only read Miss Era 1. I have not gotten into the Cosmere yet. Um, next to those, we have the First Law Trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. Um, I have not read those yet. I just bought them, and I am excited to get to them. There's times where I'll crave them, and then there's times where I'm like, I can wait. So when I stop fluctuating, it's probably when I'll get to them. We have the Farseer Trilogy by Robin Hobb. have not read it. It's very small though, but apparently it gets you attached quick. So we'll see when I get there. We have Sun Eater by Chris Verrocchio. It's an ongoing series. Um, so I might actually wait until the fourth book comes out in paperback before I read them. I believe the cover has already been released and the title and all that. So it might be soon that the hardcover comes out. It might be another year before the paperback comes out. So. When I get that fourth one, is probably when I'll start Sun Eater. We have books one and two of Malazan, which is Gardens of the Moon and Dead House Gates. <clears throat> Nailed it. All right, Dead House Gates. I got about 20% through Gardens of the Moon before I put it down. It's an in-progress book. Whenever I pick it up again, I'll start from the beginning. I'm not gonna start from 20% in. So one day when I come back to Malazan, I'll be back to the beginning. Um, above those two is Act of Valor by Tom Clancy. I actually have a box of Tom Clancy books. Um, the only reason that's the one that's on the shelf is that that one's small and I ended up putting the rest of them on my dad's shelf, which I'm not going to show you guys his shelf. but. I have a bunch of Tom Clancy books that I have read over the years. I just don't actually keep track of the names of the ones I've read, so I can't tell you which ones I have. Um, that was back during the days when I was bored, so I'd just pick a book and read. Oops, I probably should have kept track. We have Midnight Riot by Ben Arovich. It's the first book of the Rivers London series, which is an ongoing series, I believe. I may be wrong. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. And finally, we have the Great Coat series, which is a tetralogy. It's there. I have read Trader's Blade, and I have not read the other three yet. I'm going to get back to it soon, though, hopefully, because I'm excited for it. Um, it's entirely 
possible that my plans will go to other shit though because that has been happening a lot. And then we'll start with audiobooks since that's easy. Most of the audiobooks I have are books I already own in paperback. The only one, only audiobook I don't, the only two audiobooks I don't own in paperback that I have, I don't know if I can show it without it playing. Hold on. Mute. Is. Wait for it. Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. I also have this on Kindle edition as well, but I plan to do the audiobook. And the recently finished We Are Legion, We Are Bob by Dennis E. Taylor. Um, the rest of the audiobooks I have are ones I have in paperback here. Actually, I don't know where Astronaut's Guide is. I also have the book An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth by Chris Hadfield, who was an astronaut who went to the ISS for Canada um, multiple times. I don't know where that book is right now. Um, I think it might be in my backpack. Uh, I have reread that book maybe four times now. I reread it a lot. I also have that on audiobook. There we go. All right. And my Kindle books will go by genre, I guess. Um, this is going to be a mess, so I warn you now. It looks like I own four, five, six, seven. Well, that doesn't count. Hold on. I own like 37 books on Kindle. I'm skipping a bunch for different reasons. Um, but if we go by genre, I only have, oh God, this is gonna suck, I'm sorry. I only have one history, uh, historical fiction book and it's Madame Forquet's Secret War by Lynn Olson. Um, it's the only one I've seen go on sale that I was interested in. So that's what I got. All of these I got when they're on sale. <laughs> Just saying. Um, in the mystery genre, uh, I have four books in order. Oh goodness. We have Promised Land by Robert B. Parker. We have Vanishing Man by Charles Finch. We have The Mysterious Affair at Styles by Agatha Christie and The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie. Um, I am hoping to read as many Robert B. Parker books as I can. Uh, Robert B. Parker is Jim Butcher's favorite author, and everything I've heard about his writing is something I want to read, but the only book that I've ever seen go on sale was Promised Land, and it's gone on sale multiple times by now, so it's possible I might just have to pay full price for any of the books in that series. Oof. Um, I bought The Vanishing Man on a whim, and I got the Agatha Christie books because I read them as a kid, and I haven't seen them since. Yes, I read Agatha Christie as a kid. In sci-fi, I only have four more books. I have The Martian by Andy Weir. I have Pushing Ice by Alistair Reynolds. Oh, one second. <laughs> this is sci-fi book missing there because it's not sorted yet. I have five sci-fi books. Look at that. I have Pushing Ice by Alistair Reynolds. I have Century Rain by Alistair Reynolds. I have The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. And I have Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. So those are my sci-fi uh, Kindle books. Technically also in the sci-fi genre, but in a separate folder, I have Thrawn Ascendancy, which I believe is the first book. That's the book you start with if you're reading the Star Wars series. One day I plan to read all of Star Wars as I can. Don't know if I'll read all of it, but at least all the original content I hope to get through one day. And I believe that's all of those. The four books I've read for school, three of them are classics. One of them is actually a modern, actually two of them are modern, two are classics. But I, I read all of these for school. 
I only did a, a review for A Thousand Splendid Suns, but um, I've read Heart of Darkness, I've read Salt to the Sea, Salt to the Sea was for Book Club, A Thousand Splendid Suns, which is a really, really, really good book, read that, and The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells, I believe. Yep. Um, so those are the four books I've read for school that are on the Kindle. I think everything else is fantasy. Nope. I also have in a separate folder, The Rise of Sigurd, which is a historical fiction series by, by Giles Christian. And I gotta say the audio the guy who does the audiobooks for this, I only listened to one chapter, like a sample, but it sounded really good. So it's possible. But I went ahead and got these the introduction chapters sound really, really interesting, so I might read those sometime when I'm feeling the mood for Vikings and stuff. Now I think everything else is fantasy. I think so. We're gonna skip over the Jim Butcher graphic novels. Just know I have the Jim Butcher graphic novels on the Kindle. I didn't count them earlier. I'm still not going to. I have three Discworld books. Uh, by Terry Pratchett. I have Guards Guards. I have the We Free Man Men and I have Equal Rights. Um, when I showed people that I bought We F We Free Men, there was a lot of like there was like an outbreak and argument. I have no idea what that was about. But that kinda weirded me out. But I have Guards Guards and Equal Rights. I'm gonna start with Guards Guards and go through that path and then jump to Equal Rights. It was what I was told to do. I don't know how far to get before I switch. I'm gonna figure that out one day. Um, I have two books of The Sword of Truth by Terry Goodkind. I believe this author passed away recently. Um, I think earlier this year. So I'm definitely gonna read this series. Um, but that's books one and I believe two, it's possible that's book three. I might've got them out of order. But three people recommended me that series, and they were very devoted to it. And I know a lot of people who are going to try it eventually. Or, I knew a lot of people. Um, doo -doo -doo, check, check, check. And then I have this mess of a folder. So we're just going to go in order. Um, from top to bottom. The Traitor God by Cameron Johnston is a book I bought on a whim. I don't know anything about it. It was on sale, and I had a free $2, so I bought it on a whim. Um, Tyrus Throne, which I own a paperback of Jade City by Fonda Lee. Um, haven't read it yet. Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. I have not read it yet. I'm excited to read that series, though. Theft of Swords, which I already mentioned. Um, the Cracked Pot Trail is a side story to Malzahn. A Time of Dread by John Gwen is the sequel series to Faithful and the Fallen, so that's going to take some time. The Sword of Kaigon by H. L. Oh God. Wang, I guess. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Oh, there's like reflections now. There we go. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh. Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. I've heard a lot of hype about that book. Age of Assassins by R.J. Barker. We Ride the Storm by Devin Madsen. The Grim Company by Luke Skull. Spellmonger by Terry Mancor. And The Black Tongue Thief by Christopher Buellman. I have not read any of these books. <laughs> Just to, to make that simple. I haven't read a single one of these. But I hope so soon. And that should be everything on here, for the most part. Um, I skip things that are less related and stuff like that. But. Yep. And I believe that's all of my books. Except for my, like, 40 or so books in the closet. But those aren't really relevant anymore. So, we're going to stick with this. Um, as I showed earlier, I am currently reading Promise of Blood. And it's likely I will finish this in the next few days. The first two chapters are very, very intriguing. And if I wasn't busy all day, I definitely would be further in this book. Um, I'm actually going to start reading it right after I'm done here. 
and after I start uploading the next video. Um, there's a lot of videos uploading if you haven't noticed, so it might be a while before this comes out. I believe that's all. Um, oh, okay, I lied. There's actually one more thing. I was going to give a cursory list of the books I'm taking versus the books I'm leaving. Um, I am leaving all of my butcher books, um, both Aeronauts Windlass and The Dresden Files and Codex Alera. All of them are staying. Dune is going to stay, but I'll probably um, take it with me when I come this December. I'm coming back home for winter break, so winter break. I will take Dune with me, but for now it's staying home, Malazan is staying home, Red Rising is staying home, I'm sorry, I know I should read it soon, <laughs> but for now it's staying home because my sister's reading it and I don't want to be rude. Um, all of those additional books like Brave New World and Cash 22 and Ego is the Enemy, all of those are going to stay, um, do, Dog Stream of, do Android Stream of Electric Sheep staying? I'm taking Powder Mage, era, like the original trilogy with me. I'm going to take the, the prequel trilogy with me too, dependent on how much space I have in the dorm room. I'm going to know the day before I move in how much space I have. I know that's like terribly inconvenient. <laughs> I know the day before, but that's how it is. So. I may take that. Faithful in the Fallen is going with me. Leviathan Wakes is going with me. Uh, Alistair Reynolds' House of the Sun, House of Suns, help me, is coming with me. All of Brandon Sanderson is staying. I'm sorry, none of those are going with me. Midnight Riot is not going with me. First Law is going with me. Sun Eater is going with me, question mark. And Farseer is going with me. I'm hoping to finish Farseer before winter break, so that way I have one less series that I have to keep at the dorm. But who knows how my plans will change, but that's just the overall. I'm taking about half the shelf and I'm leaving about half the shelf is how it is. Now I'm done. I hope you have a good day. And all of this may be different by the time we come back. I'm also taking great coats with me. I forgot that one. All right, bye bye.